when you go and call make me make, make I make pound, don't make me chop. He said, I beg, I beg, I don't know what you're saying, I don't know what you're saying. You get mad. They say they send me as ass boy come with you for years. See, bro, I'll not do it again. No, that's on you. That's not on Okay, 100%. You. Yeah, you didn't make your food, that's all. I didn't have the energy to make my food. Exactly, good. Then you could have asked somebody else to make it for you. Bass balls, 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 bass balls. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you, I have so many shalaye to do in this video. If you don't know what shalaye is at this point in time, then you're not a real BB Ninja lover. You're not a lockdown lover. Okay, guys, what? It has been a crazy night. I legit couldn't sleep because I needed to get all the tea. You know, and after getting the tea, I now dozed off for a little while. Then I woke up because I got a message from Chantel. Shout out to you, Chantel. When I saw her message this morning, guys, it's legit 5 a.m. Okay? It's 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Yeah. And your baby girl is sitting down pretty to give you people gist. You know, I don't want you people to wake up and start looking for the information. I want you to wake up and see it bass on your face. Okay? Now... Let's talk about the party. Of course, today we had DJ Obi in the building, and I don't really know if to say the party was bomb or if to say the party was just there. For me, I feel like the party was there and it was not there. You know, when you are feeling something for a little while, and then after a while, you now start feeling like, ah, what's going on here? What's going on? DJ Obi, what's up? Any party that Lecon and Brighto do not remove their shirt, is that one a party? Is that one a party? DJ Obi, what's it happen? I know you tried though, but ugh, my people do not remove clothes. So I don't really know what I can say about that. Anyways, the good side to this whole party is the fact that my baby boy, okay? My lover boy, my crush, yes, I have a crush on him, you know, came to perform. His name is Chike, aka Boo of the Bullets. Let me just tell you, that guy is someone that I really love. I told you guys in my other video that the post I made on Instagram, the song I was actually sitting and dancing to was Chike's song. I was actually dancing to Roju by Chike, so yes, I really love the guy. But guys, let's talk about the housemates. Lucy. Hey! Lucy! What was going on there? Lucy's outfit was looking very pink. Let's even start from there. Lucy was wearing a play suit, but this play suit would be like pants. Because, you know, the knick are just very short. And you see all her bottom cheek. I bet you they call that thing. That way they pop out if you wear one small boxers. And this babe came to pepper people today. Because even me said, she just put pepper inside my eye. Lucy just, they dance, they dance, they dance, they twerk, they give new, they twerk, they give everybody, they dance, they give praise. I say, ah, ah. Ah, ah, Lucy! You know, they had so much fun. In fact, Lekon danced with Erica to the point where V was like... You know, she was shocked. Because again, she's had conversations with Lekon where she's telling Lekon to move on. That Erica is just trying to play him and all of that stuff. So she was really shocked seeing them. Guys, I feel like they had a lot of fun tonight. Let me know if you like. Erica was there doing her thing. Of course, you guys know that my own uncle, Uncle Kid Roya, he likes to do the bartender job. But then at some point, yeah, during the whole dancing and everything, he saw that his baby girl, Erica, was sweating. My brother left the job, okay? He quit. He quit his job as the bartender and decided to resume job as a sweat cleaner because since they dabbed the heat when they the baby girl face, I said, oh, love is sweet. I need someone to come and clean my sweats. Okay, I don't need sweats. I need someone to come and clean it. Okay? Anyways, let's just leave it at that. The party was lit for the housemates because they dance, you know, they shake hands, they do everything. So I said, okay, let's leave that one. Let's talk about what happened after the party. Because in my mind, what is your play for my head since now? After the party and the bass boss, after the party and the bass boss, and guys, they did not fall my hand. Let me tell you, yeah, what happened after the party? I don't know. It was just a long circle of, you know, conversations from here to here, between this person to that person. So guys, I have a full note. I have a full note where I explain the shalaya that all of them you are doing tonight because guess what? There's no way I'm going to carry it on my head. So I'm going to be reading out the synopsis of what happened to you guys. Okay? Yes, from my title, you can tell that V and Neo are no longer together. Well, at least for now. Because Neo said you don't tire, you know, they do it again. And V is also there vexing her own vex. So let's talk about what happened, you know, between Neo and V. And then also talk about what happened between Wathoni, Dorothy, Bright, Tonani. In fact, guys, it's a long line of names. So let us just start, okay? First of all, first of all, let's start off with V and Neo. Now, bass boss. And waiting cause the bass boss, now food. Now, we food caused this problem now bright oh pound oh. yes bright oh is actually in the center of this whole fight between neo and v ah that bright 
Right, this is your Lord Billish act that you are bringing to us. You don't need it too much. You didn't prepare us too much. I don't understand. Now, what happened? In fact, let me just read from my notes so that I don't miss out any points. Bright O told Neil that he was making Pando. Now, Neil goes to call V. Ngoa, V, oh, come. Uh, Bright wants to make pound so at least you can eat from there and also use your drugs because finally our period has come And from what V was telling Lekon at some point after the party the period is going to be here for seven days And it is seven days of Chris because you know she's going to be weak and all of that So that's actually why she wanted Neil to be the one to make the food for her But then since Neil saw Bright in the kitchen making pound he goes to call his babe. Okay, babe, come uh, there's Pando, you know, Bright is making Pando. Now I'm Bright, yes, okay. It'd be like, so these people walk out, chop my Pando. Now I'm Bright, so okay, I'm not making Pando again. I'm going to make several other. Why did you not bring up the Pando talk in the first place? Now, Nyo has gone to call V. There's now a problem because you're no more making Pando. So what's going to happen? Nyo is now upset. Like, babe, what's up? I'm not your house boy. I said, babe, you come stay for kitchen. We'll do the Pando together so that we chop. You did any time to say you want come out. I'm your house boy. I'm yours, boy. Now, then, while I start, oh, now, Neo is sitting down with Ozo in the room and they're talking about the whole thing. And you know, Neo is just venting that what is her problem? I beg, I know they do again. I'll be a house boy for you. What does she take me for? Why go they call her? She go they shout, give me say, she doesn't even know what I'm saying. She they walk out, come out. Which kind of nonsense is that? She don't know me, oh. She don't know me, oh. Now, because of the side, why they show up? Now, me can they do like this? I never show her my other side. Which kind of nonsense? She they crazy. She they crazy. I beg, I don't do again. I don't do again. I say, now, nah, wow. And then Ozo is there trying to tell him that no, that she came to talk to him and then what she was saying is that she didn't like the way he reacted that most times when they're having issues Neo is fond of just overreacting especially in the presence of other people that she doesn't like it that that's what she was complaining about and then Neo is like no I'm not having it da, 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 da. now while Neo and Ozo were having this conversation in the room V was speaking to Lekon and Prince you know and she's telling them what happened that the way he was screaming he was shouting at her as if he wanted to beat her that she does not understand what kind of thing is that and then Lekon is like see you did not make your food by yourself. That is on you, okay? This is not the first time something like this is happening. And I don't know if you and Neil don't sit down to talk. Maybe people just apologize and move on. But the truth is, if you don't talk about it, it will keep repeating itself. And you guys will just keep apologizing. And she's like, no, that's almost as if every time they have to talk about the same thing. That she does not understand why he had to react like that. That for her, he knows that she was weak and she couldn't make her own food. You know, so why would he react like that? Lekon is like, you could have told somebody else to make the food for you. When you saw that he was already behaving like that, you could have just asked somebody else you're like who should i have asked Lekon said you should have asked tolani he said tolani they do makeup he said you could have asked another person for Lekon, she does not have any excuse the only thing she can say now is oh i did not like the way neo reacted but you know blaming him for not making food for her is something she should not do you know Lekon was really trying to clear her that see nobody is here to come and be making food for you if he does not agree to make the food then you go and make your food by yourself and if you knew that you were too weak to make the food because obviously you needed to eat before using your drugs now you ate just one spoon of rice it does not make sense so you should have just gone to ask somebody else to help you make the food you know now waiting in con they try and clear her when they, they have that conversation for dining because they were actually sitting down at the dining okay so now let us leave that part because at some point yeah Neo now went to sit down again with Ozo and Nengi in the garden and you know they were still talking about the whole thing he was still actually very angry he didn't want to talk to her you know while she was on the bed he was outside in the garden while she was in the garden he was on the bed so two of them never said so at this point I really don't know what to say about Neo and V I don't know if they're going to be able to sort what whatever it is that is happening between them out i just hope that they do because you know we like the two of them together i'm not gonna lie two of them their relationship they suit me for body but now let us leave here let's leave new and v because i know say somehow somehow they will find a way around their problem let's talk about watoni bright o and dorothy okay now the first conversation happened between dorothy watoni and lucy and they were talking about the whole bright o situation and for dorothy she feels like look i know that you and bright o you have something but i really don't know what it is because even me myself i don't want to have any issues with you in her words i would rather have a fallout with bright o than have a fallout with you watoni you know because for me it's almost like it's not feelings for me i feel like i'm just flirting around with the guy i feel like it's just this i feel like it's just that and then watoni is like okay but you were on his bed last night so why did you sleep there the artist is like ah that the eyes were too much this one this one so she just had to you know leave the group chat she just had to go back to her bed this one this one this one they had that conversation now it almost seemed like you know bright o was playing both watoni and dorothy because clearly he invited dorothy to his bed and he also invited watoni to his bed now the question is 
whose turn is it to sleep on Bright O's bed for the night? Well, apparently, he actually invited Dorothy to his bed on Friday night, you know, to spend the night with him on the bed, you know, so she was actually there at some point. And then today being Saturday night, it was Watoni's turn, you know, not turn by turn, you know, tomorrow will be my own turn. You know, say Bright O bed now, a hot cake, Bright O now, a hot cake for that house. Okay, so that was where the problem started from. Now, for Dorothy and Watoni here, yeah, it almost feels like Bright O is using them to catch crews. Now, the two ladies decided to form an alliance and come up with a plan to see whether Bright O was truly playing them or if he actually had feelings for either one of them or maybe the both of them because at this point I really do not know. Now the next thing that happened was they both agreed, that's Watoni and Dora, they both agreed that okay Dora you go and lie down on his bed first you know go and stay with him for like 15 minutes and see if he's feeling you and see if he's going to tell you to leave his bed or if he's going to tell you to stay. If you stay for like 15 minutes and nothing happens then we'll now make the next move. I say ah. Okay, it's going to be a long night, so make I open my eye clear, no way till they happen. Next thing, Dorothy drags Lekong with her to Brito's bed, you know, because she didn't want to just go alone like that. She was already in her nightwear and everything. Cool. And then Brito was like, ah, wait till happen. Lekong now said, ah, we are here for threesome, you know, he just said it jokingly. And then they laid on the bed. In fact, Lekong was in the middle of, you know, Brito and Dorothy. Now, while all of this was going on, Watoni was sitting down in the lounge, you know, waiting for 15 minutes before they now moved to the next step of their plan. While Watoni was in the lounge, a conversation ensued between her and V. In fact, let me just read it out here. While she was there, she just started explaining to V that she doesn't know what is going on, that see the whole triangle thing that is happening between she, Dora, and Bright O, and that at this point, she doesn't really know because she and Bright O actually kissed. And then V was like, oh, really? Did you enjoy the kiss? Was the kiss good? She's like, ah, that he's actually a very good kisser. That he's actually a very good kisser. I say, ah, now wow. I don't need sweat for this kind of kiss. So they give you that for you. Yeah. I say, now wow, which kind of kiss be this one? Maybe say, what one is sit down, balance where they explain, give V. Say, ah, that guy is a very good kisser. Now, at this point, yeah, Watoni was not telling V that she does not know if 15 minutes has elapsed by this time because, you know, Dorothy has not come out and everything. V now said, okay, let me go and check. V now goes into the room as if she wanted to go and take something or do something in the room. And then she came out almost immediately. I told Watoni, they are still there. They are still there. She said, Do you think that um, Dorothy will be leaving anytime soon? She says, See, Watoni, Dorothy is having the time of her life, okay? I feel like this guy, Bright, oh, he's just using two of you to catch crews. So, Watoni, if you know what is good for you, you better catch your own crews. Catch your own crews because this guy is nonchalant. This guy is not ready to have anything serious between the both of you. He's just having fun. He's just having fun. <laughs> I've told you. Now, Watoni is like, Okay, so what should I now do now? Because the plan was that Dorothy will leave the bed in 15 minutes. She's like, Just go to your own bed because Dorothy doesn't look like anybody that is going to leave the bed go to your bed and then Watoni was like okay fine then she and Vina went out the room you know Watoni goes to her bed she didn't even look at you know Brighto's side at all she didn't want to have eye contact with them at all at all she just went to her bed and then V went to the bed as well even though Neo was still outside like I said their two matter never still set now after a short while again Watoni is like Tolani what's up now what's up then Tolani is like okay look give me one minute we need to talk next thing two of them now left the room again and came back to the lounge now while they were sitting at the lounge eh, Tolani is like what's up what's going on Watoni now narrated the whole story to her again from the beginning and Tolani is like ah, Brighto is my friend and you know from the beginning he already told me that he doesn't want to have anything to do with anybody in this house he doesn't want to catch feelings but that she doesn't know if anything has changed from the last time they had that conversation you know but for her she feels like Brighto is just nonchalant she actually used the same words V used nonchalant you know they feel like you know Brighto is not even ready to settle with anybody he's not ready to do this not ready to do that so was now asking Brighto that okay wait so what happened between you and Praise what was all that about you know you expressing how you feel about him and what is like see I did that just to spite Bright because Bright is not really expressive Bright is not someone that will come and tell you oh this is how I feel so I just thought that if I do something like that to pepper him he will call me afterwards to have a conversation but the guy did not even make any movie did not even call me so is like I told you the guy is very nonchalant Brighton is the wrongest person for you to be doing something like that with now while Watoni and Tolani Badge are still having this conversation Lekon stylishly leaves the group chat you know he leaves Dorothy and Bright O on the bed so that they can have the time to talk but guys if not 15 minutes when they give themselves eh, i feel like dorothy used more than 30 minutes there because all the time watoni was having these conversations here and there 15 minutes don't pass they did. but dorothy still did her bed can't wait she never moved in fact she was sitting under her breath big brother please turn off the lights big brother please turn off the lights if they used to be they cover yourself no one will see face no one will know say that she did the bed we know say now you because watoni did outside 
Kaisha no did that house again to say, okay, whether not Kaisha did that bed. Now, don't want to date there. So she was using duvet to cover herself. Then she was actually muttering some words under her duvet. She was talking to Bright. Oh, we couldn't really hear what she was saying. But then what she said that me I heard was that why is it that we have to always have an explanation for how we feel? Next thing, Kyle, they come out and for them because even two of them, they were not really having any serious conversation like that, like that. You know, Bright was just there talking to whoever other housemate that was in the room. He wasn't really paying attention to the Dorothy. And he just looked really messy, like, guy, what is your problem? Now, after a while, yeah, V, Watoni and Tolani Bad decided that, you know what, let's go and sit down and talk. Let's discuss these issues. So the three of them now carried themselves again to the garden. They sat down on the bed in the garden and they were talking about the whole issue. Now, V and Tolani Bad are still telling Watoni that, see, this guy is non challenged. This guy, I don't understand. Bright is not ready to settle. And then Watoni is like, look, but the kiss we had felt very real. It felt very genuine. I know I kissed Kidwire and I could tell that the kiss I had with Kidwire was genuine as well. But this one, I could feel it. I could feel it. The guy is actually a very good kisser and he's very romantic. I said, ah. Low button. Low button. Look, at this point, yeah, I don't even blame Watoni anymore because, again, it's not really her fault that she keeps liking people that are probably not ready to settle with her or, you know, that just want to have other things to do with other people. Because now, now, Bright, when she go me, je, 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 now, Bright, now, don't turn to center of attraction again when we say, now, now, what's cake for that house, you know? It's just really somehow, I can't really blame her because, again, she spends time with this Bright. Oh, you guys, bear in mind that she and Bright oh, have actually been friends before all these emotions started. You know, she was even telling Bright oh on Friday night or so that if she had known that you know she would start having feelings for him or you know both of them would have feelings for one another from the beginning they would have started it you know instead of waiting up until now you know instead of her going through the whole triangle with Prince you know with Kidwire and all of that stuff she was actually telling the guy that so she genuinely actually feels something for Bright but Bright I don't know. Now, when they were having that conversation, Tolani was not like, see, I feel like you and Bright are actually cute together, but I don't know if the guy is ready to have anything serious to do in this house. Now, the most important thing for Watoni was to find out whether Bright actually likes her as much as he claims, or whether he actually has feelings for Dorothy, or whether he doesn't even have feelings for any of them and he's just using them to catch crews. So that's the detective job that Watoni is trying to do now because at this point, it's not even clear. Nobody can even say, okay, oh, this is what Bright is trying to do. This is going to be his next Step, proper Lord Baelish, now be this guy. Now, you won't even believe what happened after this year. Bright all legit left Dorothy on his bed and came to lie down in the garden, you know, with Tolani Badge, and they were having a conversation. Of course, I told you guys that Tolani is Brighto's friend. And she's like, guy, what's up? What is going on? It almost seems like you're in a triangle between, you know, Watoni, Dora. Like, what's going on? You are the one that told them to come and stay on your bed. Didn't you give them timetable? Didn't you say this person should come and stay today? This one should come and stay tomorrow? Now, why is Dorothy there when Watoni is supposed to be there? You no, know, you should have told Dorothy that, look, it's not your turn today. It is Watoni's turn. I'm like, what kind of rubbish stuff is this? What kind of nonsense is this? Like, I don't even want to be Dorothy right now. I don't even want to be Watoni right now because it's just really messy. Like, how? How did Bright O get there? Like, Bright O. Bright O, I swear, not only this guy game, I don't really understand for this big house. And I can tell you for a fact that this guy is playing his games right. Like, he's playing his cards right to the T. Now, tell anybody is asking him, why are you now dodging the two of them? Because now you've left your bed, you have bed inside, though. You are now dodging both ladies. You now came here to lie down. What's going on? And then Bertho's like, see, I don't even want anybody to feel bad. I don't want to make anybody feel bad in this house. And in his words, he said, nothing is actually going on between me and any of them. I say, hey, Bright. Bright, you don't play these two women. Grown up women, they just did it. They drag you go sleep on top of your bed. You go sleep on top of your bed. You now they talk, see, nothing is going on between you and any of them. Now, wow, get at this life, be this life, not balance. Now, while Talani Badge and Brighton were still having that conversation in the garden, what only to see? I can't keep myself. She came outside. Came to have a conversation with Bright, and then Tolani Bad left almost immediately. And she told Watoni, Watoni, don't leave him until you get the answers you are looking for. Ask him the questions you want to ask him, and then she went inside. Now Watoni is like, Bright, what is going on? Are you catching crews with me? And he's like, what do you mean by that? He said, but you told me to come to your bed, and somebody's on your bed. What's going on? And he's like, who's on my bed? 
See, what do you mean? You know the person that is on your bed. Why are you asking? Why are you acting as if you don't know what I'm saying? I don't want you to start giving me all this type of your answers. Go straight to the point and tell me what it is. Are you catching crews or what exactly is going on? Because I don't want all these things. Like, I don't have the time to be in a triangle anymore. I don't have the time. I don't have the strength. So just let me know what it is. And Brato is just there, not giving any answer. I just they do corner corner. They talk bed bed. What I'm not understand. Waiting the day there, they ask and say, I told you to come to my bed. Why didn't you come? But Tony is like. I was outside. By the time I now came, somebody was already on your bed. So what do you expect me to do? And I said, so you think I'm the one that invited her to my bed? In my mind, I'm like, I don't understand, bright. Stop this game. Stop it. Stop it. Which one do you think I invited her to my bed? You did not invite her. Neither one said, carry herself. Come, you know if you talk anything. At least you that you have time table. Why did you tell her, okay, oh, it's not your own turn today. It's what only turn. Like, turn by turn, nobody go vest. Now you can't run, they leave two of them. Now you can't ask for Tony again, say, and hey, why didn't you come to my bed when I told you to come to my bed? Like, bro, I don't understand. What is it with you and your bed? Waiting did that your bed go, 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 where everybody won't like that. Now I won't know. I don't know if it is the kiss now that everybody's dragging or what exactly did they drag on your bed. What did they find from your bed, bright? See, at this point, I don't even know because I'm tired. I don't know what to call this that triangle. I've been a parallelogram, I've been a trapezo. I've been to call those things for mass. Man, I don't know mass. You know, the thing you're tired because bright. Guys, who would have thought that bright all would turn out to be the player we were all thinking Kidwire was? Kidwire, they learn for where bright all day. What do I do? You know they learn work. Brighto is the real player in Biggie's house. If this is a game of chess, yeah, Brighto is the best player so far. Guys, I give it up to that guy. Even though myself, I don't even know what he want to do next. At this point, I just look and say, ah, ah, Bright, what is going to be your next move? What exactly do you have planned out? Like, I don't have an answer to all these questions I'm asking because I'm confused. Guys, last, last, Brighto slept on his bed alone because Dorothy got tired of waiting probably and then, you know, she had to leave the group chat because who wants your day bed? They wait for a man to come back. When man, they outside, go like that on bed for guarding. So I feel like Dorothy just left maybe because she couldn't wait anymore. You know, Brighto went back to his bed and everything. Thing. And right now, I don't really know what to make out of this whole situation. V and Neil are still not back together, so I don't know. It's going to be a very long morning. And there was something Bright actually said because he had a conversation with Neil when Neil was telling my beg that get a craze, which they worry him. You know, Bright was like, See, all these things that is going on, even with me, Watoni Dora, all these things we will forget them tomorrow. And the tomorrow he's talking about is Sunday. He was like, By 4 p.m., 5 o'clock now, but he will tell us that these things are not the important things. We need to face the more important things. I say, Exactly. Cause you guys don't even know who is leaving. Like he's just crazy. Every time they have a party, I always know that there's going to be gas bowls somehow. But this particular night, eh, it was a long night of talking here, talking there. Guys, even myself at the girl day. I don't tire. Wait, see happened. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. This is basically everything that happened. Um, we don't know what's going to happen next with V and you, like I said. And yes, our period is here to stay. It's going to be here for seven days. So Bele never enter. Well. People see they get belay when they get on their period, so I really don't know. But yeah, that's all the gist that happened in Biggie's house tonight. And before I forget, our boyfriend is coming back today. Vacation don't do okay, brother don't do okay. So by 2 p.m., they say Biggie, they come back, okay? If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give me a very big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. I know a lot of you have questions. What is going on with Neo and V? What is going on with Neo and V? I hope I've been able to answer your questions without any doubts in your mind that the two of them were fighting over Pando. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.